Johnny. Hello, mother. Have you got my goods? Have you got my money? I've got your money. There you go. Oh dear, this one's got a hole oh. in. Did you do that? No. No, I did it. This oh. one, oh, he's got it. He's just been trying to work it out. This one is called Why Christmas Day. Come on, explain um, it. Well, because Scrooge has just finished talking to the ghost of Christmas yet to come, mm -hmm. he looks outside his window, there's a little boy, and Scrooge goes, what day is it? And then the kid screams, why? It's Christmas Day. Oh, okay. Mm. I like this one, it's lovely. My scarf's getting really long now, so I've only got two more after this to put into it. You've seen it, haven't you? It's big. Mm. Right, see you later, Johnny. Yeah. Yesterday, someone in the comments asked, what is chutney? Now, I'm probably wrong in the way I'm going to describe it, but I would describe it as savoury jam. So here we are, let's sit in the jar, and this is it on the uh, cracker. These are very lovely crackers. These ones, these were sent to me by someone very kind in a hamper. And they're lovely, I've just had four for my dinner with some cheese and um, chutney on them. So, it's like a preserve, like a savoury preserve, and I just think it's a savoury jam. That's how I would describe it. If anyone else would like to describe it better, then please do. But I couldn't get the lid off this one, and I would have had this one, but James has gone for his um, COVID booster, so I had to have the other one. So this one has got fruit in it, but it's got vinegar in it, instead of like, although they do have sugar in as well. So I would just stick with my original description, savoury jam. Speaking of the lovely hamper that was sent to me, you may have noticed I haven't made my Christmas cake. It's because I got this in my hamper. So I don't need to make one now. So not only have I been given the gift of a lovely, lovely hamper with a Christmas cake in it, I've also been given the gift of time because that's one more thing that I can tick off my list. I haven't decided if I'm going to ice it yet. A marzipan it. I can't decide. I'll have a think about it, but it's lovely, isn't it? I know this is really like stupid. Well, not stupid, but um, what's the word, James? I don't know what you're saying, so I can't help. Well, what were you talking about? I was going to say that I've started to actually write on the boxes of chocolates that I give people, so people can't re-gift them. Um. What's the word? Tight? No. What's the word? Cantankerous. Yeah. We already did it. What's the word? Well, whatever that word is, that is me. This is for our post lady. She's always smiling, so I thought I'd get her a box of chocolates, but I'm writing on them, so she can't give them to anyone else. <laughs> Apart from her post lady. Apart from her post lady, yeah. Oh, well. My mother-in-law's just brought this lovely big box of chocolates around, and in there was this. Blonde chocolate with sea salt, galaxy fusions. Now, look, here's a piece of it here. Can you guess what it tastes like? Yes, everybody, it tastes like caramac, but it's a bit more of a grown-up caramac. I don't know if you'll know what I mean by that. It's really, really nice, and I'm hiding it up. There's plenty of others in the box that everybody else can have. Well, this was a box for me and James. Look. But I'm going to keep this one for myself. Oh. <laughs> 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 Hello, we thought we'd better catch up with some of these mince pies that we've got, <laughs> didn't we James? You've yep, looked forward sure to this. Did. So what were the last ones we had? Well that was, they were the Walkers ones and that was f Thursday, yep. I think. No, it was Friday before we went off to the gym. That was a long time ago. We've had a party since then, haven't we? Oh thanks everybody who said they liked the party video. I even had a compliment about the editing. Did you? You know the music did you do fit that? here. I did that under the in bed. Under the influence of alcohol, it was a complete and utter fluke. 
because yeah, I was way, saying don't post yeah, that one. The way it all sort of came together. Oh, here comes Johnny. Hang on. Well, that took longer than we expected. Anyway, yeah, it was a complete and utter fluke, wasn't it? That what it, was? Well, sort of some bit matched with the music. Like uh, when you were dancing with Pauline. Oof. But that was honestly just whatever I filmed first, more whatever, and then whatever James filmed, just chucked together. I only had one compliment. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of it. But as you all know, I'm not a video editor. I just stick things together. There's no skill involved at all. Right, so shall we have a look at what's on the menu tonight then, James? Sure. <clears throat> shall we do two or one? Don't mind. I do feel a bit full. I do not. So I'll eat Ooh, right, so are these like? I don't know, but they're open. <laughs> so we've got classic six. Shouldn't that be six classic? I probably say three. <laughs> yeah, all right, well, three classic all butter mince pies. And they're from Marks and Spencers. These are their, I'd say, standard range. I'm finding that when they put them in see-through boxes, they're better quality. For example, this one here that we've got, see-through box. I think that may, not better quality, but it's, they're posher. They're they're, yeah, they're classed as being posher. Oh, weren't that nice? <laughs> we've got Kim looking at us and she just yawned. Right, James, we might need a knife, please. Ah, what? Hit that. Get the plate out. I'll just write it on the list whilst he, he's gone. Talk amongst yourselves. He's trying to find something stupid. No, I couldn't find anything stupid. I was going M&S to. Classic All Butter. I'm going to put in brackets, run of the mill. What you don't know is your mum bought some chocolate round and there was sort of like galaxy caramac. I've had the whole bar. Oh. That's why is I that don't... why you're not hungry? Yeah. <laughs> right. Very nice. There's loads of other ones in there that you'll like. But um, that one, cool. I'm afraid I claimed it's it myself. Be... Oh, here she comes. Kim. She's so slow because she's so old. No, don't do that, darling. Let's cover them up. I well, no, she'll just um. Oh. Yeah, put it with you. There you go, Kimmy. She doesn't like to sit with me because I muck her about. She likes me when we're in bed, but right. So look, lovely decorations on the top with caster sugar, and they're very thin, um, full, thick, deep. James, they're deep and crisp and even. <laughs> You know who'd like these? Yeah. Who? Mind the cat with the Who'd knife? like these then? Are you talking about Father Christmas? No, cooking. Are you talking about? Cooking oh, cooking Wenselessness. No, come on, darling, don't do that. Right. Come on, Kim. Now, I can see straight away in here, James, yeah. that there's peel, and I love peel. Do you like peel? Sure. No, not normally. Don't you eat a lot of peel in your spare like time? Like the skin? Yeah. The orange, my mum used to make a lot of Christmas cakes and she used to buy jars of peel, like plastic tubs of mixed peel and that was my favourite. And when she'd buy mixed fruit with the peel mixed in, I'd pick out the peel. I'm getting a taste of vinegar. I'm not. Oh, here she comes again. For an old lady, Kim, it was shift. She wanted a mince pie. She's not allowed, cats are not allowed no, mince meat no, and stuff like she that. Want? She never does. She probably wants a bit of the pastry. That is fine. That has got no mince meat on it, everybody. Don't write in. <laughs> and she's had pet yeah, that's what she it. wanted. Right, what would you rate these then? Um, you never know a bit, my dad. No, she doesn't like it. Oh, she does like it. Yeah, I've done them. They're just alright, aren't they? They're just normal 
mince pies. Yeah. Mine tastes a bit weird. Vinegar. No. Like sour milk. Sour milk? Mm. I might need another one to know. Well, you'll have that bit later. <laughs> but now, <laughs> oh, we're going to eat we're those. We're going to go on to the winter. So now, rationing. yesterday when I was showing you my mincemeat, I said the other version of it was fruity. This, these mince pies have got the version, the other version of the posh mincemeat in them. Oh, hang on. What would you class these ones as then? You mean score? Yeah. Seven. Seven? Yeah, they're all right. I'm going to give them a five because that yeah, weren't, they're just all, they're, that weren't they're anything fine. to write home about though. So they score a 12. Right, we're now going to move on, everybody. <laughs> or should we save these for tomorrow because we yeah. probably won't be going to any of the other supermarkets, will we, between... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about her eye, she's got some drops for it. <laughs> dogs just fell up because of yeah, dog's fallen. Oh, it's all. I don't know what to do about this. Well, they're open now, so. Well, no, I haven't them. opened the cellophane. Oh, okay. They are, Kim. Have another bit. Yeah, don't what write in about this? the eye either What's because this? everything's fine. What do you mean and write in? Do you mean comment? Well, yeah, people sometimes like say, oh, you need to get that looked at or something like that. Yeah. But everything's in hand, isn't it? Can I eat this? Yes, you can eat that. Yeah, right, it's fine. Right, anyway, I don't know what to do about this. I did smell of the vinegar then. Yeah. However, they do expire on the 27th. Oh, great. Oh. No, they haven't expired yet. And it's only best before. Oh, you've got a best side there as well, that beautiful crispy ear. Mm. It's not crispy though, it's just bent over. They think, well we, it was like it when we got her, and they think, the vets said that it was because of an injury that it was like that. You told me she'd been kicked. Well that is an injury. Yeah, well, did you guess? Well I wanted you to have her, so oh, I had right. to <laughs> I had yeah, to that try. was the main reason I wanted her. <laughs> You're a liar. What a bad lie to tell. I wanted you to film it. How they knew because she'd I been showed kicked. you the picture of her on the website and you said, Oh, I'm not sure about that one. I don't like his face. So then I had to sort of elaborate a little I bit. who took it in and said, I kicked this cat. <laughs> Ten years and you've been living a lie. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You'd have let me. I've told hundreds of people she got <laughs> kicked, so we. <laughs> oh, I know, but I wanted you to warm towards her the way I did. Well, I nice just, when we got her, just the picture saw... they put on there. She was yeah, good. as soon as I saw the picture of her, I thought I've got to have that, and then I showed it to you, and you weren't so keen, but I was going to get her anyway. Because you're not strict about that sort of stuff at all. I don't have to check with you, do I? <laughs> you're an adult. <laughs> Before I bring anything home. But I just wanted you to warm to her, so I thought if I created... I did, I was worried. Hey, and guess what, Kim? You'd have got through in the X Factor as well. Yeah. Right. What are we going to do about these other... No, we'll save them for tomorrow, because we've already run on a lot, haven't we? Yep. So last night, I said to James... Oh, because he was gonna... he was chilly, so and I was warm, so I'd taken my jumper off, and I suggested he put it round his neck. Yeah, which Hang he did, on. and it was warm. So I said, mm. "Do you want me to knit you a shawl?" <laughs> no, I do not. <laughs> no, I'm all right. And what shawl. was the reason for that? Because I just don't want a shawl. But you said, it's all right, you can just wear it at home. Like I was going to have secret shawls that I just wear at home that no my friends see. He said he doesn't I'm not want... having secret shawls. He said he didn't want anything secret that he was just going to wear at house. No. So don't. <laughs> oh dear, that made me laugh. Well, a lot has come out of... A lot of skeletons have come out of the yeah. cupboard tonight, mm. James. Oh, Kim, who's found out the secret? can't believe it. Sorry. Well, it's no big deal, is it? No. There's no need to... 
<laughs> to tell me she'd been kicked. <laughs> what about you told me that the previous owners went in. That and, is true. Yeah, because then I thought, well, why would they that is true. offer them back to the people who kicked her? That's what I They didn't work. offer her back. Oh. So when I went to get Kim, the lady at the rescue place said to me her previous owners last were in last week um, and they recognised her because Kim had been found by the lady's sister-in-law outside her house just walking the streets and she would have kept her but she had some greyhounds which didn't get on with um, cats mm. so she took her to the she gave it to her sister-in-law who ran the cat home so Kim was in there called Pebbles at the time and her new her old owners came in to look for a new kitten so they said oh that's <laughs> <laughs> so they said oh that's our old cat we haven't seen her for however long so the cat home lady said well you could if she's yours you can take her back and they said no it's all right we've got rid of all her stuff now and she did not give them a kitten good and when I went to get Kim, she, um, she'd been taken out of her small thing that she was in and put in a big cattery area with some kittens. Mm -hmm. And the kittens were like crazy now. And Kim was going like this to him. <laughs> <laughs> and Lizzie, she was only two at the time, said, oh, it sounds like a pig. <laughs> yeah. I wonder how old she must be old. Well, when we got her, the lady thought she might be about five at that time. Oh, I thought she was old when we got her. James, that was ages ago. No, I know. She, but I thought she was about ten when we got her. I thought she was about twenty. Oh, she's not that old. Well, she might, she might be. We don't know. The vets have had a look at her teeth and they said she is well over ten. Anyway. We well, go. that's the story of Kim. The true story of Kim. I can't believe you. Have you ever been told about that, Lynn? Hundreds of people. Anyone who's seen a picture of her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of other things you've said now before. We've got oh, animals. no, don't. Let's not get into that. Don't. Let's not get into that. Now. Had Pam had loads of kittens? Yes, and I've got a picture of her kittens before oh, yeah. and after. Grandad, mm. he was 13. He might not have been in the cat home for as long as I said. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm was going. there for a year, but not for as long as you I said told he'd be. <laughs> <laughs> He had been there for a year. That's a long time. But I might have told you he'd been there for a bit longer than a year. Which one did you get and have in the house for ages before we... And they that all, was all Pam. children thought that I didn't know she was here. Yeah, that was Pam. We kept her in the bathroom. We, I said to James, shall we pretend that um, you don't know she's here? That was good, weren't it? Mm. If we you were all sneaking around and yeah. told me to go to the bathroom upstairs. Because there was a flood. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm going. Well, we better go. Well, I'll see you, everybody, tomorrow with some um, Taste the Difference Clementot. Are we taking the other one? I can I eat one of these? Yeah. You can eat more, James. I'm not hungry after that bar of chocolate I've just had. Oh. Right, see you tomorrow, everybody. Bye-bye.